This is the second video in the series on how to post the game in Unity. In the description you will find links to all the episodes. In this video we will work on the post system script. Specifically, what I want to achieve is that by pressing a key, for example the escape key or a canvas button like this here in the corner, I want to send some signal to a script so that we can post the game. Here, as we see, pressing the canvas button or pressing the escape key, nothing happens. Let's create a new script. I'm gonna call it game control and assign it to any game object of the scene. If you want, you can use some control script that you already have and add the variables and functions that we're gonna see. First, define a boolean. I'm gonna call it game running because it's gonna represent the pause state. That is, if the game is running, this variable is gonna be true and if the game is paused, this variable is gonna be false. Now I'm going to define a public function that will allow us to change the state of this variable. That is, if the game is running, when this function gets executed, the game will pause. And if the game is paused when executing this function, the game will resume. To achieve that, we write this instruction, game running equals to exclamation mark game running. This exclamation mark is the logical negation operator. It inverts the state of the variable. Then define an if statement that allows us to determine the state of the game. If you want to know more about the if statement here in the corner, I leave you a video. So this will be the code regions in which the state is changed from running to post or from post to running. Here we will implement the appropriate actions in each case. For example, we can tell the user interface to show a pause screen if the game is paused or to remove it if the game is running. For the moment, I'm just gonna bring these messages to show that the code in these regions is executing. So now we wanna call this function when the escape key or the canvas button is pressed. And here I define an if statement with this condition that will be true when the escape key is pressed. Now let's make the button execute that function. Select the pause button in the button component here in the onclick event. Click this plus sign, drag the control game object, that is the one that has the game control script where the function we want to execute is defined. And using the drop down menu, choose the proper function. Game control, change game running state. Now with this, uh, when pressing the button, this function is going to be executed. Before testing the scene, uh, what I'm going to do is mark this game running variable as true, because the game is going to start running. It would be better though to initialize these variables using code when starting the game, but for now I'm just going to mark it as true. Now hit play and try the code. When pressing the escape key, here we see a message that indicates that the game is paused. Press the escape a couple times to test game post, game running, and if we press the post button of the canvas, the same, game post, game running, game post, game running. The last thing I want to do is to define a public function that will allow us to know the state of the game. For that, define a public method that is going to return a boolean variable, let's call it uh, is game running, just like if we were asking a question to this game control script. The function will return the game running variable. This allows any other script that has the reference of a game control instance to access the state of this variable. In the corner you have a video about how to call functions that are defined in another script. But we will see that in the last video of this series. That's it for this video. The system I want to achieve is already done. In the next three videos we'll see the specific actions that needs to be applied to post the game in Unity. Have a nice day.